Right, kids, um, got a new game for you this week. It's going to be a bit of a target throw game. So, a few things we need to do first. One, we need to collect materials. As you can see, I've collected materials. So I've got lots of sticks here about that size. I found longer sticks and broke them, and I found some that were that size. Now, what I didn't do is I didn't break sticks off of trees that are already living. I went and scrounged around the ground and found sticks that were already on the ground. Because I didn't want to break any living trees. So, job number one, we're going to set up our TP. Right, kids, as you can see, I've set up my TP. Took me a few minutes to do that. I've done this kind of thing before, so I think I've done a pretty good job. It's about as round as that. That's about as wide as it is. It's about as tall as my knee. You can make it bigger or smaller. The bigger or smaller you make it will just make it the game easier and harder. Now the object of this game is to try and throw things and knock over this teepee. I'm playing with my partner, Mrs. Lynch. We are each gonna have a turn having a throw and whoever knocks over the TP first will win. We'll then come back, we'll pile it back up and we'll play again. I'm gonna show you how that works now. We're just gonna use sticks and we're gonna try and throw sticks at the TP. Now, based on our skill level, we're gonna decide how far away to go. I'm a pretty good thrower. Mrs. Lynch, not quite as good of a thrower. So I'm gonna let her maybe have a bit of a head start, maybe go a bit closer to the target or I'll let her pick how far we go from. Simple as that. Let's go play. All right, kids, so as you can see, we're about 15 meters from the target we've stood up. Now, me and Miss Lynch have decided that there's a nice big path here. She's gonna be able to go one step in front of the path and throw from there, and I'll throw from one step behind the path. Just to make it a bit more fair, I'll get better of a thrower, and that way it makes it more easy. Now you can see I've collected a whole pile of sticks here, different, longer, thicker, shorter ones, just to give you a choice of what you wanna throw with. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure there is nothing behind or around the teepee that I can hit. And I can already see our water bottles left off to the side there. So I'm going to move it behind that big tree just to make sure it doesn't get hit by a stick and break by accident. You can also tell we've picked a location where no one's going to be walking behind. There's no buildings back. Well, there is a pool back there, but there's a bush back there. So it's not going to hit anything and damage anything. Have a look at that thing I've just found. That'll be a great stick for later on for the next evolution of this game. We'll use that in a minute. I'm just gonna leave it over here. Mrs. Lynch, would you like to throw first? All right, I'm gonna throw first. And as mentioned, I'm gonna throw from behind the pathway. You wanna just stand up there? Now, I'm aiming for that TP down there. I can throw it however I want. I can go overhand, I can go side. I can even go under if I want to. I'm going to go over to start and just see how close I can get. Oh, pretty close. Pretty close, not too far. Mrs. Lynch, your turn. That's like a good one. I got a good feeling about this. Now notice, kids, as I throw, I use my same throwing mechanics as always. I step with my opposite foot and twist my body. I'm not just standing and throwing. I'm not stepping with my front foot and throwing. I'm stepping with my opposite leg, so my left leg steps, my right arm throws. Oh. 
Not so good. Right, kids. Now that's three throws each, and we haven't come close enough to hitting it. So I think, Mrs. Lynch, what do you say to us moving closer? Probably. Probably a smart idea. So what we're going to do, we are going to use the big stick that I've found as a bit of a crease. So we're going to put that down, and our rule is going to be we can't step in front of that. Our stick pile has dwindled down. We don't have many left. So we're going to really quickly just go look for more sticks and collect them and place them over here by our long stick. Alright kids, as you can see, we've got a large stick pile here. Not going to want to stick anytime soon. We've got our crease drawn out with our long stick there. We'll try not to step in front of it. And we'll take turns throwing from here, trying to knock over that TV. Now that we're a bit closer, it'll be a bit easier, hopefully. Let me look her. And I've done it! Mr. Lynch has knocked over the TP. Now, since I've won, I'm gonna go ahead and build that TP up again. Kids, to build this TP, all I'm doing is balancing sticks together. It's nothing fancy. Uh, it's nothing that none of you could do, or any of you couldn't do. I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try and find the right sticks. Mr. Lynch, could you hand me that long one behind you? Oh, that's a good one, got a little fork there. I'm just gonna try and balance sticks. Once I've got three up like that, I can just balance more in there. Perfect, now I've got my TV built. This time, we're gonna play a bit differently. This time, we're gonna try and instead of whipping our sticks, so they flip end over end, we're gonna try and use that long stick, more like a spear, more like a javelin, and try and throw it directly at the TV. Let's see how that works. Now, as you can see, I've got a nice long stick, but it's also very straight. This long stick is curved, and would not be as easy. So we're gonna use that long stick as our crease now, and we're going to use a straight one to try and javelin. Now my stick shouldn't be flipping in the air this time. It should fly straight through the air. I don't know how well this is gonna go. We're gonna have a try. We've only got one long stick, so after each attempt, we're gonna walk out and grab it and come back. Oh, first try. Look at that, kids. So in my first try, I was able to get that. I think that's pretty lucky. I don't know if I'd be able to get it first try anytime, but it's a great first try. So that's your PE lesson for this week. I want you to make yourself a teepee. I want you to find some sticks, Start by throwing the sticks at it, eventually move on to a javelin type throw. I'll just do that javelin throw one more time, just so you see what. I'm just gonna throw the javelin over that way. I'm not gonna actually throw it at anything, but very simply, got my arm on the cowbell, I'm gonna step, holding close to my ear, and extend and throw. My hand should finish pointing towards where I want it to go. I'm holding about the middle. I hold way back here, the part will drop. Holding about the middle. I think that was pretty good. <laughs> 